Hi everybody and welcome to Battlefield 5 on the PlayStation 4 and I'm going to try and do as much as I can a complete beginner's quick start guide to Battlefield 5 to people who are new to the franchise and perhaps those who are a little bit rusty too. So if you didn't know already Battlefield 5 comprises of a single player uh, campaign um, which is a series of war stories which you can try out um, they're not that great probably the best one is um, my country calling the prelude um, and the last tiger but you can have a go at them and uh, what they do do is they kind of get you a little bit used to the controls shooting mainly um, some of the gadgets is different too in the multiplayer so don't take too much um, uh, to eat that with a, with a pinch of salt, the way that you do that stuff. But definitely the shooting, you can you can get used to the shooting and stuff like that. And then we have uh, the multiplayer, which is obviously uh, online, where we play with up to 64 other players for doing uh, the famous uh, Battlefield uh, Conquest or Grand Operations Teams, Deathmatch, Breakthrough, etc. Um, and we also have the practice range where you can go to the practice range um, and there's various challenges you can do uh, which um, revolve around getting used to the weapon so I'd say definitely dive on in there before you get started though you probably want to go into uh, your options and go into uh, the audio probably first and change the sound preset to headphones or whatever you're using 3d headphones is a good one um, and I would also recommend you go into the video um, adjust your field of view I would put it up to something like 90 that gives you a really nice wide view so you can see people come around the corners and I would go down and I would turn chromatic aberration film grain vignette lens distortion take all those cinematic effects off um, in fact you could also turn off um, aim down sight as well um, uh, to do that um, gameplay I would probably leave most of that as it is and the controls it, it depends how, how I would say play with the default controls to start off with and the ones that you're really interested in that you're gonna, gonna adjust if you find that you you're whizzing past targets when you're trying to trying to track onto them are soldier aim sensitivity and soldier zoom aim sensitivity you might want to adjust those a little bit um, but probably I would say uh, oh there we go uh, where are we? controller tuning turn vibration off as well now let's talk a little bit about what you see in the main menu so we have your company the armory and assignments let's start off with the armory if you click on armory this is basically the shop in battlefield 5 and as you're playing as you're leveling up you'll see things appear here so for example what has appeared here is a uh, a cosmetic stock for my rib royale uh, assault rifle um, and as you're playing through you come back here and you'll get these things and then if you use your shoulder buttons you can go through and you can pick up various cosmetic items at the moment in the game there's no way of buying these apart from with uh, company coin if you look at the top right corner of the screen you see I've got 6,800 company coin again which you earn through playing the game doing assignments doing challenges and things like that I would probably say avoid buying anything <laughs> don't buy anything yet because you also need this money to unlock things on your weapons which is the most important thing. The only thing I ever bought was some face camo for my soldiers because I wanted them to have dirty faces. So that's the armory. Um, assignments, these are the uh, challenges, if you like, that you can do and you can choose different ones. So, uh, for example, assault proficiency, I've got to kill four enemies with explosives in a round or deal 3,250 3, points of damage with an explosive. And again, you'll see at the bottom, you get search rewards. So it might be XP, it might be company coin, it might be cosmetic items. Um, and you can click on one and you can choose something else uh, depending on what your play style is like and what, what you fancy having, having a go at. Now, we also have our daily orders, which change every day. And again, these encourage you normally to try different things within the game. So shoot sprinting enemies so you probably 
Um, well, you could use an LMG for that, um, or we'll use any of the classes to be honest. Attack from cover, damage enemies for 50 points without taking any damage, and damage enemies for 300 points with a semi-auto rifle, so that encourages you to use something like the M1. A1 or something like that um, to get your uh, get your company coins and they change every day now starting to get into the meat of the game now your company so let's click on this so what you have in battlefield 5 is at the moment when I make this video run about sort of boxing day 26th of uh, December 2018 uh, we have the allied forces of which you have an assault a medic a so your Axis forces, which again are recon, uh, whoop, recon, support, medic, and assault, and you can customize these independently of each other. Okay, so my German assault player, uh, I can go in, and if we press the button, and I can change his weapon or his role or his sidearm or what gadgets he has, and that will then be different to the Allied one. So remember that, because it can get a little bit confusing when you're going around. And you can also change the way they look. So let's take, for example, um, let's say I want to, here's my, here's my German medic lady. So I click on her. So the first thing I could do is I can come down to change character. And I could change her from Helga to someone else if I wanted to. Choose whoever you want to be. Um, and I could change the appearance as well and as you earn different cosmetics again you can change uh, what they look like very good and then at the bottom you can see the progression I'm making so as as you level up throughout Battlefield 5 you earn different things um, different weapons will become available but also you'll learn different cosmetics and, th and things like that uh, for, for your medic now let's go to the top now your combat role so at the moment, again, there's only two. So I can be a field medic, where one of my traits, if you like, my perks, is you gain additional requisition for your squad by providing them with bandages. And I can sprint faster when calling out to a downed friend in need of a medic. Or I could change to be a combat medic. Now, if you're just starting the game, you've got to unlock this at a certain level. So it won't be available to start with. But when you get to this point, you can be a combat medic where you have longer reach with your melee weapons and you can sprint faster when at critical health. So again, you look at that and you think, hmm, you know, well, what, what do I fancy? What, what do I like doing? And you, you can choose that. So now let's get down into the weapons. So if we select the weapon um, and then if we go down to replace weapon, you can see the weapons that I've currently got unlocked for my medic class. The Sten Gun, which is the one you start off with, the Suomi, and the MP40. Now you'll have the Sten Gun, so if you select the Sten Gun, and then we press triangle to customise it, you can now change how it looks with cosmetics, but importantly at the top, you can change the type of sight you want. Whether you want the Iron Sight, the Lati Sight, <coughs> which I recommend, you can have like a red dot, um, and then we're into different cosmetic ones. Now different guns have different sights available to them. They might just have the, the iron sights, and they'll have some sort of reticle sight, like a uh, red dot like this one. Or they might have some sort of magnified sight that you can then add. All the other things that you're changing down here... Um, if we come out of there, sorry, into visuals. These are just cosmetics that change the colour of the gun. You know, and that's just... You know, whatever you want to do. Now, specializations. These are very important. So when you get the Sten gun or any of the first guns that your soldiers have when you first play in the game, they've already got the specializations uh, already on. And this is just like in uh, Call of Duty with uh, attachments or Battlefield 4 with attachments. Um, um, but instead of physically adding things to the gun, you choose what you want to. Now, you can't change these to start off with, but when you get the weapon to weapon level 4 by killing people, you can then choose what you want. So at the first one, we could have quick aim, or we could have quick reload. Then you can have ported barrel, or enhanced grips. And these all do different things. And if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, it'll tell you what they do. And then you can change those. Now, with the first weapons, as I said, like the Sten gun... Um, or if we come out of that, if we go to the assault guy, the first weapon you'll have will be the Sturmgewehr. Um, again, all the specializations will be filled in, and you can change them. However, let's go back to the medic. 
when you change the weapon, so replace the weapon, say we pick the Suomi here, if I now go, into, go into specialization, see I've got nothing unlocked for this weapon now, so I've got to use it, I've got to kill people, and then I can choose the path I want to take. Once you've got to level 4 though, you can, and you've unlocked everything, you can then reset that and then change it without having to spend any company coin, because you do have to spend co company coin to open these things up. Now uh, let me just uh, take that out. Now funnily enough, <laughs> Despite the fact that we have allied soldiers and we have Axis soldiers, they all can fight with each other's weapons, which is a bit odd, apart from when it comes to the tanks and the aircraft. Um, so I kind of like my uh, characters, uh, my squads, my company, to have weapons appropriate to the side they're on. Um, so my assault guy, I like to, ha I like him to have a um, SDG 44 even though arguably at the moment the best assault rifle in the gun is the Riberal but that's an allied gun medic has a Sten gun um, support is a little bit different um, because oops, arguably the KE7 is the best assault right uh, best um, LMG uh, it's a bit like an assault rifle to be honest so I've kept them both having the KE7 but then if you go to my um, sniper lady um, my uh, German lady has a Gewehr M95 and my British lady has the Lee Enfield uh, number 4 Mark 1 in fact tell you, let's just quickly go into have a look at this weapon and we'll just go into customize and we'll go into the scopes and you can see that the standard scope is a three times but we could put on a six times scope on it as well um, depending on what you want to do now let's go back to our medic lady so we talked about the weapon uh, the sidearm you'll start off with something like a p38 and then you can you know, as you go through unlock uh, different weapons and then you'll have your melee and again exactly the same as you progress through the game as you kill more people as you capture more objectives etc you'll get different sidearms that you can use and then you'll have um, your kind of um, your gadget um, we've got bandages or medical crate now with the bandages of the medical crate and the ammo uh, pouches and the ammo crates they work a little bit differently um, the bandages and the ammo packs for your support players basically you throw these at um, other players and that will uh, give them the ability to heal um, or 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 um, rearm the medical crates though and the ammo crates they have to interact with you might remember in battlefield 4 battlefield 1 if you put down an ammo crate or a medical crate it would start supplying people or start healing people all around them automatically that doesn't happen in battlefield 5 they have to run up to it they have to interact with it and that gives them more ammunition or more health which they can then use so arguably bandages and uh, ammo pouches are better however what the ammo crates do give you is they give you the ability to resupply your soldiers with more stuff um, such as for their, for their uh, other stuff as well because we also have our kind of uh, our left and right d-pad weapons so in my medic I've got the smoke grenade rifle or I could have an anti-personnel mine the smoke grenade rifle is good on a medic because when you see a downed um, buddy you can fire a smoke grenade at them so that you can go and revive them without risk of being shot and then you can choose the type of grenade you want so I've got a frag grenade or a smoke grenade uh, going in like that and you can choose to have those now the different roles um, have also been changed a bit in the fact that everybody in Battlefield 5 can revive within their own squad um, in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 the only people who could do revives were um, were, were uh, medics but this one everybody can do it just so happens that the medic can do it faster and they can revive anybody so just bear that in mind when you're when you're coming coming to play so that's we've talked about your basic uh, characters just remember that when you do change something on one of your uh, people say your allied person remember to change it on your axis person if that is appropriate as well now all of this combat um, 
customization and uh, specializations applies to vehicles as well. So if, for example, we click on my tank, now you've got you can, you've got a choice of three tanks or three aircraft that you can you can have. This, is a, this can be a little bit confusing here. So let's go into my my Tiger One slot. So if I wanted to, I could change my Tiger One for one of the other tanks. Not quite sure why you'd want to. Um, but basically I have a light tank, an anti-aircraft tank, and a heavy tank. Um, but if we go and we can see that my Tiger, just like my weapons, has specializations. That as you use your tank, or your aircraft, or your armoured car, you can upgrade them by spending company coin um, that make the tank behave in different ways. And again, when you get to level 4, you can then reset that to whatever you want. Um, aircraft very similar. If we click on my, uh, in fact, let's go to the Stuka dive bomber. Again, we have specializations that we can do. One of the things to do is probably look down through all of the specializations before you choose which one to start off with to kind of decide which path you may want to take. Some of the paths you can change over and, and do it that way. Vehicles in Battlefield 5 aren't as effective in um, in combat as they were in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 because of the relative lack of spotting and you'll see that when we get into a game you can no longer spot players willy-nilly like we used to do with the right shoulder button um, now only certain um, classes i.e. the scout class who have access to the spotting scope and the flare gun can really spot people uh, lots of people as they go along uh, everybody else you can spot players if you suppress them <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite difficult to suppress people because suppressing has been changed as well. So by now you should have an idea how to set up your class. I'm okay to start off with. But once you've played the game for a while and you've leveled up your characters to the point where you can start to look at your uh, guns and you can change over the specializations to, to make the gun work the way that you want it to, um, you'll start to enjoy the game much more because your weapons will be more effective. Um, as far as weapons to go with, um, when you're playing the Assault class, um, the Sturmgewehr is a really nice gun to start off with. It's really good. You can you can run it on auto or single fire. Just press and hold triangle when you're in game to switch between single and auto fire. The M1 Carbine may only be a semi-auto rifle, but it's very powerful, very effective. Um, the STG44 and the Rib Royale, these are, these are really good as well. So I would go with... For me, the STG44 and the Rib Royale are, are, are excellent uh, choices. Um, for your medic, um, I would you know stick with the Sten for your allied one, and once you've unlocked it, you know, put the MP40 on your German character. Um, I've said it already, but the KE7 is probably the best support gun. Uh, for that class, probably one of the best guns in the game to be honest. And then I'm not much of a recon, not much of a sniper. Um, but the uh, the Lee Enfield is very good, and then when you unlock it, you know, give your German character something like the Gewehr Gev M95. The Model 8 is, is good because it's a semi auto sniper rifle. It doesn't do as much damage, but you can blat away in a way that you can't with the bolt action rifles. Now we come out of uh, the company and then go into play um, what I would say is if you want to get used to the guns in a fairly uh, uh, infantry specific um, don't worry about vehicles and planes blowing you up way where everything is pretty concentrated you can't go wrong with team deathmatch or domination these are just small squads fighting each other a team deathmatch, it's literally you against them, kill each other. Domination, there's three capture points that you can play with. Um, and uh, that will start you getting you used to the weapons, used to the feel. You can fine-tune your control sensitivity to get you, get you used to that. Because the game does play differently, you know, the way that you vault over things, the way that you lie down, the way that you revive people. It's all different to Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4, and, and that's very good for fine-tuning that. And then when you're ready to go, I think at the moment for Battlefield 5, the best mo mode that gives you the best um, Battlefield experience is Breakthrough. Now, Breakthrough is actually a holdover from Battlefield 1, and it is a small operations 
um, game mode. What that means is uh, you have attackers and you have defenders, and you're either one or the other, depending on you know which side it puts you on. And then you'll have flags that you have to take and hold. So if there's one flag, you need to take it and hold it, and then you get to move on to the next flag. Um, you c it's all one way. So if the attacker wins a flag or wins a couple of flags it moves on it's not like the defenders can move it back like front lines um, and it's just like operations from battlefield one but only on one map so the games sometimes don't last that very long um, but because everybody's attacking or defending one or two sometimes three flags you do get this concentration of soldiers and vehicles and aircraft which gives you the feeling that you're in a big battle whereas what's happening at the moment on conquest and can happen on grand operations is people get spread out a bit and you don't get that battlefield experience and you end up just getting sniped by snipers from a long way so I would say play breakthrough so that's what we're going to do now is we're going to select breakthrough and go into it but before we do I just want to show you the advanced search the advanced search or browser uh, server browser we would uh, used to call it would be a way that you can search for specific things so if for example specific game so if you wanted to play breakthrough um, but you only wanted to play on uh, certain maps you could select those and then you could look at the servers and go in and change it however at the moment because there are no custom maps in the entire game if you look at the servers they're all doing <laughs> pretty much the the the, the normal um, the normal rotation of maps so there isn't that much point going into this the, the uh, the server browser however if you're having trouble matchmaking that's one of the things you could do uh, at the moment though what you can do is you can just go to breakthrough and we'll click play and we're going to get in there and we're going to play a little bit of a game now as i've said before they significantly changed battlefield with battlefield 5 because they've effectively removed spotting so you've got to be much more careful as you're moving around the battlefield looking about where you think enemies could be because there's also a lot more going on in the maps we've got a lot more textures we've got a lot more explosions we've got a lot more smokes we've got lots of bits flying around which means it's not always obvious where enemies are also if an enemy gets gets knocked if you like gets hit and they're waiting for a revive they will be rolling around and it can look like they're um proper uh, their soldiers and they can they can affect you that way so spend lots of time well, thinking about where the enemies are going to be try and flank around but also play with your squad mates because they're the ones that are going to be uh, picking you up they're going to be um, reviving you they're going to be giving you um, uh, ammo they're going to be giving, giving you extra medical packs and that sort of thing um, and squad play in Battlefield 5 is very, very important. We're defending, um, so our sp our spawn points as the Germans are on the right hand side, these two ones here. As you can see at the moment we hold A, B and C. This is actually, we've come in near the end of the game actually, this is quite a, a long way in. So our job as the defenders is to travel to one of these flags, um, and stop the enemy from taking it and the way you stay do that is by staying near to the flag so what we're gonna do we're gonna sp I'm gonna choose to be let's play as an assault guy I'm gonna spawn on one of my teammates here and if you look at the map the mini map you'll see that this, you'll see the sea and then you'll see that lighter gray area around it so what I need to do is, is stand near woo, near <laughs> on that lighter grey and then we'll start to capture the flag. Now I've been injured so I press it up on my d-pad I can take my um, my med pack. Now what I want to do is I can press shoulder button I can ask for more medics. To select my gadgets I've got my um, Panzerfaust left on the d-pad. I've got my grenade launcher on right on d-pad. Obviously I've got my STG and I've got my pistol and I've got a grenade. So we've now got C even though I haven't really done anything Oh, there's somebody over there. Here they go. Oh, and we're dead. Now, we've been shot, but we're not dead yet. If I press L2, I can hang on and say, Hey, someone come and revive me, please. There's nobody near, though. So what I'll do is if I press and hold R2, I'll go back to the spawn screen. Now, when we're at the spawn screen, we can choose 
to spawn straight onto one of our teammates or if we press circle we can go to the big map view where we can spawn on one of our teammates one of the captured flags or uh, our home spawn so let's spawn on one of our teammates again let's go in again and uh, let's see if we can help Now, if I press and hold the right shoulder button, our dialogue wheel appears. And here I can ask for more medics. Can I have medics, please? Or I can ask for an order. And what should happen is our squad leader should issue an order in a minute. Let's see what he says. Alright, we can revive this chap. Oh no, he's got it. Ooh. Ooh, someone behind us. Keep running, keep jumping. Somebody to our left. Ooh. Normally they come this way. Now what should happen is our our sergeant, our leader, our squad leader should highlight an order and you'll see that flash on the map. But he's not doing that so what will probably happen is I'll be promoted to squad leader in a second and I'll start issuing orders. So we hold C. Alright there's a tank there. Oh, it's blown up. So what we're going to do is head on over... The enemy ranks are thinning. Keep at it. Well, they say that, but they've still got 100 soldiers left. Basically, the attackers lose ah, if uh, they run out of soldiers. So, here we have a supply box, so I can pick up some more ammo. Also, if I press down on the D-pad, I can get my hammer out. Once I've got my whoa, hammer out, I can make some defences up. Ooh. Skip the revive. So if we go to C again. Was, right, I'm now the squad leader, so if I press the top shoulder button and then press down, I can say, right, defend C. Quite a few enemies coming through there. That was a V1 bomber coming in. There you go. Finishes. So, as the squad leader, if I press and hold my two buttons together, I can choose which bits I want to call in. So, I can call in extra tanks, I can control, call in a V1, and things like that, but that's for another video. Again, you tend to find if you're in a gunfight and you start getting injured, just back off. See if you can find the medic. 
live to fight another day. Reflank around. See how hard it is to see people. Now, if I press the right shoulder button, I can spot places on the map that my squad mates and teammates will see. Someone got behind us there, didn't they? Ooh. It's getting close. Remember, if they capture all three objectives, they've won that particular bit. So I always think, where will the enemies be coming from? So in this case, they're going to be coming from sort of south and this way. Just give another order, defend C. And there we go, we won. Now that was very short because we came in right at the end of the uh, the game and although they had captured all the points up to then, we defended those last three flags. In fact, on Hamada that is a very difficult place to uh, to win. But hopefully, hopefully this is giving you a good idea of where to get started in Battlefield 5. Sorting out your company, sorting out uh, knowing what the armory is there for, choosing your daily uh, quests if you like your daily challenges to go on for doing some practicing in team deathmatch and domination and then as i say i reckon a breakthrough is probably at the moment one of the best battlefield modes to play rather than conquest funny enough or grand operations i feel it gives you more of that battlefield feel of all the soldiers coming together and batting together in a huge real kind of kind of uh, battlefield war moment but anyway that's enough for me if you've got any questions or comments please put them in the box down below thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon <laughs>